Often we need to add a nested collection list in Webflow to display related tags or authors for each item, but inside a component, we can't have a nested collection list, and outside of a component, we can only have one nested list per page. So in this video, I'll walk through a CMS nest solution I've created to handle some specific problems I faced in different projects. So first, let's add the script to our site settings or page settings footer code. I'll copy this and head over to page settings in the before closing body tag and paste that and save it. Then there's a couple attributes we need to add to our collection item and to a link and div inside of that item. So let's select our CMS item and we'll give it an attribute of data-cms-nest and the value will be item. And inside that collection item, there's a link block that needs to be connected to the collection page for that item. And we'll give it an attribute of data-cms-nest and the value will be link. This link block could be set to display none if we don't want our item to be clickable. Then we have a div that the nested collection will go inside of, and we'll give this div a data-cms-nest, and the value will be drop zone-1. And this could have multiple nested collection lists, so maybe this first one is category tags, and maybe we have another drop zone for authors, and we wouldn't label that drop zone two, and we could keep adding other drop zones that we need. Now we can go ahead and head to our collection page. And on this page, I've set up a collection list that's connected not to the main tags collection, but it's connected to the multi-reference field inside of our item. So it's only displaying tags for this item. And on the list element, I'll give it an attribute of data-cms-nest, and the value will be target-1. So this will go into drop zone one. And if we had another collection that was displaying authors, we could say target two, and that would go into drop zone two inside our card. So now that we have that set, we could set the whole collection wrapper uh, to display none if we want to hide it on the collection page, or we could leave it visible if we'd like. And the list that's inside of that wrapper is what's going to get pulled into the drop zone. One thing we might want to do is run code once all nested items are finished being pulled in. If we're using something like GSAP scroll trigger, we might want to refresh once the page height changes. So inside here, we can run any of our own code we want that'll run whenever the CMS nest is complete. So I can copy that and we can run it down here just to see what it logs in the console. And another thing we might want to do is actually rerun the CMS nest solution if we were using like an Ajax modal or pagination or anything that might pull in new items that weren't initially there on page load. And to do that, we can just run this function so that it reruns the solution. So on our published site, our nested items are pulled in. I'll go ahead and delete this one nested list for now and head to the console. We'll notice our event ran whenever our nest was finished. And if we go ahead and run this function again to bring those items back in, our event runs again so we can manage our page height. And that's how we can handle nested collections in Webflow.